Hello everyone, this is Cruel Sentry once again. You may notice this looks a little clearer. So I actually had recorded several videos, I mean, uh, you'll be able to see how many probably easier than I will. And I went back, tried to get some stuff done, on the game whatnot, and I was watching my videos, and you know, the first several of them I never noticed it, but there was this weird smudging um, effect, and I'm like, what the heck is that about? I tried fiddling with it, I was working around, couldn't get anything to work out with it. I'm just like, well, what's going on? Oh, right, sorry, I'm going the wrong direction. Anyway, so I'm like, what's going on with this? I didn't remember seeing that before in any of my other games, so I don't know why. Normally I use Loilo Game Recorder, nice free software, and it doesn't seem to like working with this game. <laughs> So I guess for this one I'm going to have to use my other recording setup, which is actually uh, Fraps. So I guess I'll just be using Fraps for a bit, and we'll see how this works out. With any luck, we don't have too much trouble with this video. Afterwards, I'll have to watch it and make sure you didn't have any major problems come up. I've already done a couple test videos, but you never know. Alright, make sure my powers are toggled on and all that. Oh, cutscene, I think. More recruits means more fighters. More fighters means more money. And more busy cops. We got a bargain to keep. So I'm only gonna say this once. No stupid hero's gonna ruin our little operation here. Do I make myself clear? Clear as mud. <laughs> Uh, now, I'm not certain I need to do this to you. I already fixed this, I thought. Oh, darn it. My music got turned off for the game's music. Um, and I, more accurately, I didn't turn it back on because I often turn it off because it's only on a portion of the time that I'll run something else of my own in the background. Um, not doing that right now, of course, but still. You get the idea. Alright, so you definitely want to clear this, these other guys out and don't walk too far in the room. It's an easy mistake to make, but there's a lot of enemies. And especially this early in the game, you don't have enough powers to be able to pull off the same stunts you would later on. Um, so what's happening basically in here is that there is a huge number of uh, basically various opponents around the ring. Yeah, pop another heal. Since I can use these heals without too much trouble, I might as well. Anyways, and... Initially, there was quite a bit of a challenge trying to get through here. That's not so bad once you get used to it. Um, but this is definitely more challenging than most of the other fights. In fact, it's still... Um, well, no, it doesn't. That's Kung Fu Muscle. It says it's for two people. Anyways, I think this one's harder than Kung Fu Muscle, personally. But I guess maybe that's just me. Eh, or maybe it's one of the number of things that didn't get fixed. Who knows? Um, not a big deal, either way. We got this going. I'm going to pull aside, so hopefully I can avoid getting into a fight with those guys. Um, that guy in the center, uh, you will want to defeat him before it goes all the way through. It's just that you also want to avoid fighting too many of these guys at once. Um, and you can easily get swarmed. Um, it's just one of those things. So, when you finish defeating all these guys around the outer edge, though, you will immediately be attacked by supervillains that are uh, a part of their normal ring. Or at least, you know, that kind of guy. They got superpowers, but instead of using it for the usual let's go out and save someone or let's go out and rob a bank, they're just going out and fighting in an underground fighting rink. And like I said, this is probably the closest you've got to a more reasonable, modern, um, just, you know, group of gang members. They kind of look like more like a biker gang. They act like big, tough guys. Meanwhile, we've got... Oh, man, you should see <laughs> some of these guys. They're just funny. Anyways, and you're... Actually, since we're going to be hitting Kung Fu Muscle soon, you'll get a chance to be able to see just how ridiculous they made the uh, uh, Chinatown gang. Well, actually, look at this guy. Okay, this sorcerer guy. He looks like he's right out of the friggin'... Like, I don't know, 600 AD era or something? I mean, why is he a gang member for Chinatown? I guess they just 
wanted that or something? I don't know. Anyways, now that he's safely out, I can continue to wipe the floor with the rest of these guys. Oh, by the way, if you do have some decent strength on your character or telekinesis, you can actually do a fair amount of pickup and throw in here with these bleachers, like the one I'm standing on. They're a little bit bigger. They do have some moderate damage. That's kind of a thing that most people aren't even going to pay attention to, admittedly. But it's just one of those things that can help out. Um, pick up and throw does require uh, super strength, generally speaking, to be able to do much with it. And that kind of makes sense. And I am eternally forgetful about the fact that being that I'm not playing my usual super ultra powerful characters, I actually have to watch out and pay attention to my health. I don't even have a self heal yet. That's the big thing. I'm getting whittled down and I'm forgetting to heal up between each fight. Um, so I gotta be careful about that. It's just habits, I guess. Oh well. Now, the thing is that um, I've got a lot of ways I've made some pretty powerful characters, and I'm certain I could have made them much stronger if I knew more about the game, but I'm not that into it. And ultimately, it depends on what you want to do, um, but in the end, what I want to do is have fun. So, if everything's about power, then there's not much to it. I mean, come on, look at the combat system right now. What do I have that I'm currently doing? Okay. I do occasionally block. Occasionally. I have my charge-up attack here. And then it's automatic. Yeah, the mechanic's challenging me here. Anyways, it's auto and see, And he would have challenged me anyways, even if that guy's in the center. Unless they fixed that. I don't think they did. So I've always had to clear it out. Otherwise, I get two guys at once. Oh. See, like, i got to block that attack. Sure, great. And that one. But a lot of times, what's happening is that um, this is a, a very simple thing. And what you usually end up with on a lot of characters is you start off with basically like one primary attack, one sort of uh, area, of, like you, you know, one single target, one area of effect, something like maybe a, a lunge, a self heal thrown in there. And then maybe some additional powers that are more meant to be more passive, like your your slotted passive and innate passive. And it starts to pile up after a bit, and of course there's a reason for that. Um, but anyways, the whole thing is just that you get to a point where that, and then you can throw on some active offense, active defense, a couple things like that. And that's about it. And so that's about as much as you're going to get. And the majority of the time, you're just using one or two abilities and then occasionally popping one of the others. And honestly, I think that there's just other games that were a little more interesting than that. Yeah, these have, that's the one thing about supervillains. They're, they're dropping these up little power-up things like crazy, which is helping quite a bit. Oh, yeah, this is a knockback attack, by the way. This is their... whoa. Okay, I don't know why I didn't show him that as a charge-up, but... Yeah, he has some powerful attacks. He is sort of the main uh, star of this area, as far as I can tell. So, you only have three supervillains in a row, and then you do have Frank Zaretti himself. Mace to the face, okay. <laughs> there we go. Anyways... Um, and since you don't have to explore the rest of this, at least not at the moment, might as well just skip ahead, you know? Go ahead and beat some guys up here. Anyways, so the point just being that, you know, it does have some fun moments, but it can also get a little more repetitive than some of the other combat systems I've seen out there. Now, if you compare it to the old-style MMORPGs, like, say, EverQuest, and how that went, this game's pretty good. If you compare it to a lot of the newer games, like, say, City of Heroes, which is actually made by the same company but earlier, I'd give City of Heroes the better score on overall combat system. But I will give them some pretty good points on what the whole point of it was. They, in City of Heroes, everyone has an endurance bar. Everyone. And so it's not just like a, you know, sorcerers have mana bar they have to watch out for kind of thing. Everyone's got an endurance bar. And you could only use your rest power, I think by default, something like once every five minutes or something like that. But you could end up at the lower levels burning through your endurance far faster than that. 
And so you basically had some characters where sometimes you just sat and waited for your endurance to come back, and it was really boring and shouldn't have been that way. Um, they eventually fixed some things, got that to not be quite so bad of a deal, and there's some ways around it, but um, as a whole, that was not the best mechanic, to say the least. Let's see if I can... I'm going to have to do a little bit of pulling, because there's multiple opponents in here, but okay, that didn't work. Frank's already still are coming here to say hello in his usual friendly self. And that is to say, not friendly at all. Okay, that's a couple of attacks I'm going to have to block. See if I can take him out. I think I'm going to go ahead and bail on Frank Zaretti here so that I don't get clobbered. Now, you may have noticed, I don't know if you were paying attention, that all of a sudden my teleportation is dropping out faster. That is a penalty they give you if you're using it to try to evacuate. You can't teleport as long of a distance. Likewise, if you teleport into a fight, meaning you've used an attack within, I don't know, something like 10 seconds, 5 seconds, something like that, after exiting te your uh, teleportation, it will disable it for a few seconds. This is just to help out. I think it was primarily designed for PvP, but it's a good mechanic as a whole. It's to keep things from getting too out of hand. Alright, now I can fight him at full health instead of having all his buddies whittle me down first. And he says right as he gets attacked by a slug of guys. Well, I see only one guy here, and I've got a better chance at it, at least. Oh. Let's block that. Don't want to get hit. See, this is much more active, admittedly, at this particular point, because i got more things to block or whatnot. But I'm still using, basically, a block and a couple of basic attacks. And later on, it does get a little better than that, but not by a whole heck of a lot. And when the same company already made a better game, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I suppose it also depends on how you played it, but I always saw it as doing pretty good. One of the things that my friend actually didn't like about City of Heroes is that it didn't have an auto attack. This game does, effectively. And a lot of games have. World of Warcraft has a little basic auto attack. You just tell your character to attack, and he goes into his basics, and you only click on the abilities that are effectively going to be the ones that are more important. Yeah, the rest of this is totally optional. You can fight more guys, but, you know, it's up to you if you really want to bother. It's just not necessary. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Oh. Well, I just noticed something that could be an interesting situation. Um, <laughs> uh, Fraps has no built-in timer to tell me how long the videos go away. <laughs> Oh, man, and I was bad enough at this before. Well, I don't think one fight is going to be that much of a deal. Um, so hopefully it'll be not so bad for me to continue on a bit. Oh, uh, well, doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and turn this in. It's one of the better missions anyways for rewards because it's a harder mission. And we got to beat up Franks already. It's always fun, right? <laughs> beat up the bad guys, I guess. Um... I'm going to take a guess that those are buddies. <laughs> oh, well, war and peace there. Alright, place to your sir, huh? Well done, Zarogos. I'll be happy to see fewer unfortunate people headed to the morgue because of this brutal entertainment. Alright, so we got presence recovery I can use both stats on, but that's the only one. So, looks like that's a direct uh, benefit above what I already had. So I'll go ahead and equip that. Okay, now this... I can lose 6 points of recovery for 5 points of presence, but I think I'm going to stick with what I got. Um, recovery will eventually be one of my super stats, I think, on this character. No. No, it isn't. That's right. I forgot. Recover I'm thinking of another character I was just playing recently. No, this is presence, intelligence, and ego. Eh, oh well. Alright, so here... Okay, so cooldown cost reduction go up. 30 points of intelligence, or six, 18 plus 18 would be 36, I believe. Yeah, so... Let's go ahead. See what that was. Sorry, I got a little beep. I have no idea where that came from. Kind of strange. Anyways, um, so I'll go ahead and just walk over to this guy and sell some stuff, too. So 
So hopefully these videos won't get too long. Um, I'll just have to get some new techniques involved here for how to make sure I have my time limits in. Alright, so go ahead, sell this off. Whoop, that's not what I wanted you to sell off. Sometimes it moves at an odd way, so well, that's what buyback is for. Give me that back, my catalyst. Okay, now let's go ahead and put that down in there. Pretty soon I should be able to have new powers and whatnot, so it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get Kung Fu Muscle done, and then I think we'll call it good for there. Of course, we can also do others, but maybe not right now. So. Yeah. There's a few tricks you can pull in this game uh, to make your controls a bit smoother. I may show some of them, but for the most part, I think things are going well. All right, so this guy's a collection agent. He's one of the ones. you got to defeat five of them. But because they wander around, um, they tend to actually have the more chances of basically of having a, an additional fight show up in the middle of it. And that's where part of the problem comes in. See, like there's another one over there. I think that's actually why they did that. Um, why am I unable to... That's weird. They have a big old honking cooldown right now. Okay, well I can move back. It looks like they're not going to fight me, but they, uh... They put a big cooldown on. I switched items, I think. I didn't expect that one. Hmm. Well, let's go shoot this guy here. Now that I got my health back up. Yeah, one of these doors is one of the ones they disappear into near here. There's a couple of them, actually. But, anyways... Go ahead and take these guys out. Shouldn't be too much. Uh, so, I'll tell you one thing. Now, I should probably tell some of you guys that I know I don't easily keep track of what I have and haven't said. <laughs> I have a bad memory. But, I'm not sure if I ever told you guys why I started doing Let's Play series. Um, of course, not everyone's going to really care about that kind of thing, but just because it ties into this a bit, I was just remembering this, um, <coughs> excuse me, there are a lot of people who have done Let's Play videos out there, and I didn't really go on to get into it because I knew I didn't have the money for it, I don't have the equipment that other people do, I don't have the benefit of being one of the first people to get started on this, this whole thing. You know, there's a few things like that that put me at a significant handicap. I don't have a $100 video editing program. I have a $0 video editing program because I can't afford it. Um, I actually haven't even used Fraps for any of my actual video recordings until now. Because when I tried, it was just so horribly laggy on the recordings that I couldn't do anything with it. It's like, what in the heck was that about? Anyways. So, um... Actually, I think my this is an easier game to run it with. So there's that, and that's helpful. Anyways, but the thing is that I'm hoping to become a game designer. Uh, I do have some serious health problems that are keeping me from being able to actually work. But I've been continuing to study. And if I can't do things as a fool, you know, like go to college and study that way, I can still do some things on my own time. And I have several projects I'm doing like this. One of them is the Let's Play videos. Because if I make a game, I have to present it. And so I'm like, you know what? I like the all you know watching all these Let's Play videos. And it would also be some good practice with you know all this. Plus it's a way of actually making use of my old games. Because like I've already played this game quite a few times. And I'm kind of I'll be honest, I'm bored with this game when I play on my own. It's kinda of hard to keep this interesting, especially you can see what kind of combat I've just been talking about what you're actually doing. It's not the most interesting experience. Okay. Okay, that thing he just threw at you, that white dust, will blind you, keeping uh, you from attacking him for a few seconds if he actually hits you. He basically goes invisible to you and is untargetable. So, just a heads up. And this is actually a quest that you're supposed to go talk to her and then you pick up the quest to escort her out. But uh, since she's available, it looks like I can go ahead and get this quest in anyways. I think they call it Dragon Brawl, or something like that. Ah, darn it. I am blocked too early. I guess I have to sit and block for a bit. See, it's just like I said, he's invisible. You can't target him at all. It's it's a placate, so they call it in this one. 
It's a heck of a way to placate someone. Let's see. I'll go ahead and read this. I've been kidnapped by these creeps from the cult of the Red Banner. Are you here to save me? I don't know, but we'll do it anyways. <laughs> the cult of the Red Banner says the Death Dragon favors girls with green eyes, so they plan to sacrifice me to him. We haven't much time. Those Red Banner cultists are out for blood. They've, you've got superpowers, right? Can you get me out of here? Yeah. Anyways, so... Basically, I'm getting an opportunity to learn more about video editing. I'm enjoying old games that I played again. I have really found I do enjoy this. Um, so it's good a learning experience. It's a good hobby. And it's one of several things I'm doing. For example, I'm running a Minecraft server. Why? Because a lot of the things that you do with a heavily modded Minecraft server and choosing it can easily coincide with very low-level, and I do mean very low-level, uh, game design aspects. So I actually specifically balanced out my server with Minecraft to have that kind of thing going. So there's just a lot of stuff like that that I go on. I do a lot of analysis of games, uh, very carefully looking at, okay, why was this done and so forth, and hopefully someday this will work out. So I was just thinking that, okay, yeah, I am having a little bit of a problem at the moment with, uh, you know, having to switch over to a different recording program, but... Again, this is actually a good thing because it will help me to be able to work with, uh, well, with trying to figure out how some of these problems might come up with other later Let's Play series. Like, for example, I really don't want to have big problems when City of Heroes comes around, or if. It's still a big if. Latest news. Um, as far as City of Heroes coming back, it was kind of one of those things that ticks me off. There's giving some BS about how, well, you know, they're, they're not sure if they want to sell it, if they do sell it, and if they don't sell it kind of thing. Like, if they don't sell it, they're thinking it's like, well, the game sort of succeeded and sort of failed, but if they do sell it and the game did, you know, flops, then, then basically the game did fail, and it's like, what's their memory of it kind of thing. I'm like, well, that's not actually true. I know what they're actually talking about. It's the company reputation. They don't want to have a bad reputation as having made bad games. Furthermore, uh, to be perfectly honest, the only reason it was shut down was because of corporate bull. There was no actual, you know, this game is a failure type thing. Games have been, you know, a fraction of the population and lived on for many years. No, this was just corporate bull. I don't really want to get into that here. So that wasn't too fun to find out. Um, and then, basically, they're, as they're going through the explanation of it, I'll go ahead and read this real quick. Uh, Thank you for helping out, Zaragos. The shopkeepers are happier, than, and so am I. I don't want to see the red banner with the financial clout to drive any further than they have. Anyways, and I'll just, again, you know, choose a likely-looking ability. Looks like this one's the best. Commanding helmet. Oh, catching purple red-handed. New one. We've uncovered a new purple gang plot to steal high-tech items from a construction site southwest of the crane accident. What crane accident? <laughs> I know what it is, but still. Go to the, perp the construction site and defeat 25 new Purple Gang members to prevent them from completing this crime caper. When you're done, give your report to Special Agent Kodiak. He's been keeping tabs on the new Purple Gang and will want to know what they've been up to. Hopefully they're just trying to steal these to sell on the black market, not trying to construct another weapon. Alright, anyways. I'll probably be cutting it off here, but to make it short... The, the game never failed, and the, what they really don't... What it comes down to is they don't seem to believe that this other company has a chance of doing a good job with the game. All they want to do to purchase City of Heroes isn't the full purchase, but just to sell. They, they just want to be able to host the game. Not to be able to make new products for it, but just to host it. Why is it not being sold? Because it's a big corporation, and it's also a Korean corporation. They don't particularly like Americans, a lot of them, and so on. It's just... There's a lot of garbage that's being dealt with. It's very disrespectful. That's how they've been treated so far. But, I mean, a lot of times they're just ignoring them, like, you know, you're low-grade, we-don't-care type attitude, and that's kind of something that ticks me off. And, then, of course, there's nothing any of us can do about it. Just kind of sit back, cool our heels, that kind of thing. And so it is. May never come out, but I would still say they've gotten a lot farther than most, and... They have not gotten out right now yet, so maybe they'll find a way around it. Maybe they'll be able to offer a big enough sum of money to be able to actually afford to uh, make the purchase and so on. 
so who knows? Cross fingers. I hate these lock boxes. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you all another time. That's not the right button. Sorry, I just switched buttons because it's the wrong program. Sorry. <laughs>